right, he's the Pulitzer Prize winning humorist whose new book is Live Right and Find Happiness, although beer is much faster. Dave Barry is over here. Dave. How are you, sir? Great to see you. Dave, you are what I call RF, reliably funny. Thank you. Thank you very you much. You always are. And your new book, I'm going to hold it up right here, <laughs> Live Right and Find Happiness, although beer is much faster. Funny on every page, and I love the subject you have chosen, happiness, because I'm going to cut right to the end. What's the secret? Um. Yeah, for people who are not going to buy the book, come on. Just, <laughs> just give it. Baby. What is the secret to happiness? Probably um, the, the one essay I write that really is about happiness, the main conclusion I drew is that the people that were the happiest people I knew turned out to be my parents, which was supposed right. to be our generation, right? The baby boomers, sex, drugs, rock and roll. And... My parents, who were, you know, the, the greatest generation in the Depression, World War II, I, I now realize had way more fun than we did. They were happier, especially after they became parents, because they didn't, when they became parents, do what we did, the boomers, which has become obsessively parenting. You know what right. I mean? All we did was parent the way we do, because we, like, we were the first people to ever think of parenting. I love that you point out that parenting is a verb. Right. Now. We, it they, never they used never, to be. No. They, they were like... Um, they had kids, but they figured that everyone else had done that, too, before them. It was not that big a deal. And they, so they didn't, like, um, they were like, go play, you know, be back by September. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, there was a case in, I think it was the town of Silver Springs, Maryland. I know that name stuck in my mind because my cousins used to live there, where these two kids, I think they were like 10 and 6, were walking home alone from the park. Oh, yeah. Somebody saw them. They called the cops. They went and, you know, the parents are now having to go to court, child services. That's how, my parents go, get to school. Get your ass to school. I, I, I have this, and that was it. I have this memory. Uh, my mom was a very funny lady. Uh, and again, you're all going to think that my parents were horrible. They were great parents. But well, there was a pond near our house. And we used to go to this pond and swim. And my mom used to open the kitchen window. She'd be doing, she was busy. She had a lot to do. Four kids. Right. And she'd wave to my sister and me as we were heading off to the pond to swim and go, don't drown, kids. <laughs> and, and we'd go, we won't. You know, that was, that was how she parented us. Right. You know, I'm sure that out there right now there are people who are like horrified and could tell me horrible stories and whatever. But... We didn't drown, you know, we learned to get to the pond and back on our own. And I don't know of any kid, you know, my daughter's age now, who would do that. You know, they just, can't, they, they can't anymore. Nobody lets them. I don't let them. You don't, you don't let them trick or treat. You follow them around in case they get, God forbid, an apple.